Welcome to module 4 of Digital Signal Processing. This module is concerned with understanding spectra and the Fourier transform. This is a fundamental tool that we'll be using in this class ever after. The idea of understanding spectra is as old as science itself. Ancient Greek mathematicians and physicists, as well as Arab scientists, were interested to understand why the rainbow was actually having all its beautiful colors. But it took until the 14th century, until a scientific experiment was done by a Dominican monk, Theodoric von Freiberg, who held a bottle of water in the sun and recognized the colors of the rainbow, including the secondary rainbow. This experiment was only an early step. It took another 300 years until Descartes and Newton gave a full explanation of how white light can actually be decomposed into the colors of the rainbow. In particular, Newton proposed several experiments to take a prism, decompose white light into rainbow colors, take another prism and recompose the colors of the rainbow into white light. And this is shown in a beautiful picture here that is a reenactment of actually the Newton experiment. Newton also proposed what is known as a crucial experiment, which shows that pure colors are actually eigenfunctions of optical elements, proving them once and for all that white light is simply made up of many, many fundamental frequencies. And so this notion of spectrum, which is very intuitive from the rainbow, is actually the very notion that we are going to study using the Fourier transform. The main character of the current module is Joseph Fourier, a 19th century mathematician and physicist who lived in France. Joseph Fourier provided the mathematics to really understand what Newton and Descartes proposed as physicists. And the way he did this is to propose to decompose any well-behaved function into a sum of harmonic sines and cosines. How this could be done? He wrote longhand in a famous book called Théorie analytique de la chaleur. And you can see it looks very, very complicated. Don't be scared. By now, we understand this fully. We have much more powerful notation. And in particular, we have computers that will compute the Fourier transform for us. Nonetheless, the idea of Fourier that sines and cosines can be used to decompose functions is still very fundamental in many areas and not only in signal processing but all over applied sciences and physics. And the reason Fourier was studying this was a physical problem. He wanted to understand the solution to the heat equation and it turns out that sines and cosines are eigenfunctions of the heat equation and therefore represent a very natural basis where to search a solution for this partial differential equation. 